Hello everyone, today we will be talking about day ratios. That is a very complicated word and you might not know what that means for most of you. Well, please stay tuned to figure out what that means and also if you already haven't, please hit that like button and subscribe. Let me just close my door before we get any further. Okay, so let's talk about what a day ratio is. And let's start off with it. A day ratio, I believe, is actually Spanish. Um, I think it was wind storm or something like that. I remember I saw that somewhere. But all I know is that a ratio is a big, massive wind storm. No, it's actually not that massive. They're very, very quick. Now, if I'm going to, I mean, so crazy. Just want me to show you this picture of, like, how low the temperatures got. How quickly they just went up and down, like, just from a 30-minute ratio. You're about to find out, so just look at that picture right there. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, that's, cr I mean, not pretty cool, sorry. I meant, like, really crazy. I mean, you saw that. It went from, like, there all the way down, like, 50 degrees. <laughs> it went straight back up. That's the power of an ratio. Come below freezing in the middle of summer. It's not normal, even for Indiana. So, yeah. And that's what a ratio exactly does. That's what they do. But, not only do they do, it, do they just drop the paper. They cause lots of rain and the lightning coming down there. And then the rain coming down all the way over there. And then shh. Now, I'm going to just show you this, like, 100-year-old map or something on the Earth right here. Okay, I mean, sorry, not the Earth. I meant North America. So, this is, like, a 100-year-old map of North America that I use every now and then. And a lot of the ratios has happened... Right in here, you can see, see, right there, you can see that there's the Great Lakes and all those areas in the United States. Now, a lot of storm form around there, and that's why you just saw that that one hit Indiana, right? So, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, they go there a lot, and the current... And that's a reason because it's really flat over there. And when it's flat, these derechos can form easily because there's not many trees or anything or any hills to make different climates, right? There can be no different climates going on. Sorry about that. Um, well, anyway, so there can be no different climates going on, really. So that means if one storm goes through, it's not going to break up into a million pieces. It's going to be one massive storm. That's why they get really bad storms in the Great Plains in the Midwest of the United States. Now, the ratios can also happen all over the world, just wherever it's, like, really flat. We mostly hear about them in the USA. So, um, we also have, like, like, really bad, like, they cause really big winds. Real big winds. Like, hey. They go like crazy winds. It's crazy. I mean, some of them can get hurricane force winds. And they're kind of like a hurricane because they have a spin, too. Uh, I'm going to go show you a picture of one right here. So that picture was also really crazy, right? Now, the ratios, yes, that's what's considered a day ratio, everyone. And that's what they do, and that's what all of them are. Next time, next week, I will be showing really what the ratios do. Let's see, right here we got all the videos I'm going to make. We're in the ratio section at the very top of it. It says, what is a duration? Next is, what do ratios do? So we're about to do that next week, next Saturday. Yeah, it makes everything. Well, goodbye, everyone. See you in our day. Which might be tomorrow.